Hello, my name is Paulson Justin. I'm majoring in zoology with a concentration of pre-veterinary medicine. Today, I'm going to give you a short biography of the amazing chemist Loni Gordon. Loni Gordon, born as Loni Clinton, was born in the state of Arkansas back in 1915. Though during her early years as a young child, her family would leave the state and move to Grand Rapids, Michigan. She would attend South High School, then afterwards attended Michigan State University studying home economics and chemistry. At Michigan State University, Loni Gordon was training to be a dietitian, and shortly after graduating, Gordon would start a career as a dietitian in Virginia. Although Gordon did well at her job, she ended up leaving due to the many prejudices she faced. In an interview with Shapiro Chapin at Grand Valley State University, Gordon remarked, They could say no to me, or I could say no to them. They said yes to me, but I said no to them, so I left. She described the difficulties of working as an educated black woman in high positions as many people refuse to take orders from her. She's also described how she's been giving poor living conditions during her time in Virginia as many people didn't value her as a person or respected her. Gordon would then return to Michigan to work as a researcher for the Michigan Department of Health in Grand Rapids. Working amongst Pearl Kendrick and Grace Eldering, Gordon would join their work to improve a vaccine against Bordetella pertussis, commonly known as the whooping cough. The whooping cough was responsible for killing around 6,000 children during the 1920s. Gordon would not only overcome harsh discriminations in her life, but would provide research that was the most effective in producing the strongest vaccine. This was a fantastic achievement, though it lacked headlines. Gordon would then continue a successful career in microbiology, facing any discrimination head-on and being public about her experiences. Although many were willing to ignore her contributions, Gordon said, you achieved something and you were glad for that, highlighting that she didn't care that she wasn't recognized, but rather she cared proving her determination to help other people with her knowledge. Today, a statue of Loni Gordon is preserved in downtown Grand Rapids, along with Pearl Kendrick and Grace Eldering. I picked Loni Gordon because just like me, she was a Michigan local who took the same path in getting their education at Michigan State University. As a black American myself, Gordon serves as inspiration that I can be the best possible me, regardless of the roadblocks I may face.